Hello, welcome to our solution to problem 12 for my spring 2020 final exam. Here we're going to try to compute a limit by using a, a Taylor series. And looking at the problem, the uh, most reasonable thing to find a Taylor series for, in fact even a Maclaurin series, uh, is for this sine of x that occurs. All the rest is a, a polynomial. So we know from repeated uses in class that uh, the sine of x has Maclaurin series or Taylor series centered at zero. Uh, the infinite sum n goes from zero to infinity. Uh, you get an alternator. Uh, then you have x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And if we start writing out the first few terms of the underlying, uh, the underlying sequence, we would get x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, which of course 3 factorial is 6, plus x to the 5th over 5 factorial, minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial, etc. Okay, now let's take a look at our expression. In the numerator, we have the sine of x, and then we're going to subtract an x and a 1 6th x cubed. Uh, oh, well, actually, we'll add the 1 6th x cubed, but that exactly matches, but with opposite, opposite signs, the first two terms of our Maclaurin series for sine of x. So if we compute sine of x minus x, plus 1 sixth x cubed, we should get the same thing, only you ditch the first two terms. The x and the minus x cancel. The negative x cubed over 6 and the positive x cubed over 6 will cancel. And so we'll get x to the 5th over 5 factorial minus x to the 7th over 7 factorial. And then, of course, it'll go on from there. Now, once we get this expression, we have to divide by x to the 5th. So let's do that. Let's divide everything by x to the fifth. And what we see is that we're going to get cancellation, right? Each of these terms that we haven't written to the right is going to have a higher power of x. It'll be x to the ninth, x to the eleventh, etc. And so I'll be able to cancel five x's. From the first one, I'll just end up with one over five factorial. Then I'll have minus x squared over 7 factorial. If we wanted to keep going, we would have x to the 4th over 9 factorial minus x to the 6th over 11 factorial. And then again, it would keep going. Well, now if I want to take the limit as x goes to 0, I notice that each of these pieces after the first one has an x in it. And as x goes to 0, each of those pieces will go to 0. So this implies that the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of x minus x plus 1 6 x cubed over x to the fifth is equal to, well, you kill all the terms after the first one, you're left with just the first one, 1 over 5 factorial. 